Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, kick your feet up, subscribe to this family-friendly channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. Also follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, officialbun underscore e. Now let's get to the recap. We see some breakaway scenes with Adriana and Rashid. They seem like they're sharing some lover's kisses here and there. Okay, well, you have a good evening. I'll have a good evening, too. We see Joy and Jay there by the fire. And they are just really flirtatious. And Joy's telling him how she loves chocolate and peanut butter and joking with him that he's allergic to peanuts, so he can't indulge. But they are sharing a nice little tiki ki 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 and they're giving some nice little pecks here and there, just having a good time. Kel and Denise talk about their feelings and Denise says that her feelings are still the same. She says that her feelings have been consistent for Kelfani and she doesn't want to hold back anything. Now is not the time to not express how she feels. So she says, hey, I'm laying it out on the line. I just want to move forward with everything. I just want to see how are you feeling? And Kelfani says, you know, you were always my number one until recently. Adriana has become more of an interest. And Denise says, well, you see her raising a child? I mean, you didn't communicate that with me. And Kelfani says, that's why we're talking now. And Denise is just like, no, you know my past. And I'm starting to love you now. And I'm just ready and willing to give. And Kelfani says to production, he wanted to be honest with Denise about his changes of his feelings. He's still interested in her, but there's still this process and just knowing if everything is real. Jay says he gets a knock on the door from production and he's greeted with some serious faces and really looking not too happy. And he's walking to Joy's room. There's a request that Joy wants to speak with him specifically. And Joy is very distraught and Joy shares that her sister has passed away. Jay meets with Tommy to discuss the situation of Joy's sister passing away. And Jay says it's just all very strange because Joy just spoke with her sister this morning, hours before she got the news that her sister had passed away. Jay says that he wants to be there and very supportive as supportive as he possibly can and joy at the time was just in her room packing to leave and tommy shares that he lost his father and at the time it was very difficult and the good thing that he had was a good su support system to help him get through such a very harsh time and he tells jay that sometimes you don't have to say anything you just have to be there the best thing that joy can have is a support and knowing that you support her you have her in her prayers and that she can have the supports that she needs in getting this terrible news about her sister and as Jay walks with Joy to leave Joy just breaks down in tears and says I don't think I can Jay just holds her she's stomping her feet and you can tell it's just this moment of what do I do and it's very difficult to watch Jay is holding her and trying to be strong for her but he mentions to production that I just feel helpless. And she also says that it doesn't seem real. This just does not seem real. He tells her that she's an amazing person and commends her for always having love and leading with love, bringing her laughs, bringing her energy. Tommy then has to share the unfortunate news with the rest of the cast members. And with that news, we can see their shock and their sadness in hearing something so impactful that has hindered someone that they all care for. And then we see a series of production clips of people of the cast leaving her positive words and positive energy and their condolences. Tommy lets everybody know that Joy is heading back to Chicago to be with her family and tells everyone that life is so uncertain. I mean, some things will come to you and hit you hard and you have to be prepared to deal with it. And those are the matters of life. But we've got to keep each other lifted in prayer, pray for her family, pray that they hold on to each other and that they stay strong. He even adds that I don't have an assignment for you today. I just want for you to pray, to heal and do whatever is needed 
for you. Do whatever is needed and what you think joy may need from you. So everyone gathers their thoughts, they hug, they comfort one another, and they start to disperse and they all have their own individual things that they're doing. Winter and Denise talk and they lock elbows and they just walk around just to chit chat and they're sharing their opinions and saying, wow, all of that could be gone in just one second. Life. It's a lot to just think about and put into perspective. And Winter says, you know, thank you, Joy, for always being genuine and for being a great sister to me. Winter even takes a second to comfort Edwin because she says that I know she meant a lot to you and you did express your feelings for her and I just wanted to check on you and see how you were doing. And he says, to be honest, it's just so hard to even talk about it now because Joy was the one that really inspired me and opened up my eyes into knowing that I needed more healing. So I'll always respect her for that, but I also appreciate you checking up on me and that does mean a lot. Denise makes a production note that, well, me and Calfani are at the point where he's already expressed his number one interest for someone else. And at this point, you know, what do I do? So she says to Cal, you know, over the last couple of days, I've had some clarity and I even asked for a sign on things that I questioned and that happened with Anthony. So I want you to know that um, well, we got to break up. <laughs> Calfani makes a production clip like, um, okay. And while he's listening to her, he kind of has this little laugh of shock and confusion at the same time. But to production, he says, I was never under the impression that we were like in a relationship or we were like a couple. Denise says that she loves Anthony now. And with him, it's just another vibe. It's just another thing. Denise says in her production clip that I said, you know, I'm falling for Anthony. And I, I can see that that Cal, you know, he didn't even fight for me. I'm telling him that I love another man and I want to be with somebody else. And there was like nothing. And Calfani says to production that I thought the whole point was to talk to everyone, talk about our top picks, and then continue to go forward on who we're having a more connection with. But I guess there's no hard feelings. Um, I guess I could just make sure I focus all of my energy on Adriana. Jay is in very deep thought and he wants to speak with Winter about a few things. And she, he really wants to know if Joy is doing okay. And he thanks Winter for always reaching out and seeing if he was okay during this whole process. And he tells her, you know, I needed a moment to just connect with my feelings and see what was going on. It's just a lot. And Winter's like, yeah, I mean, I can understand that. It's just a very awkward time, sad time. He's like, yeah, you know, it was it was always said that we wanted to communicate and talk about our feelings and I always had feelings for you and joy. But I didn't want to give you half of me. So I've decided to leave. And you can see her face change and kind of the disappointment that he said that he needs to leave. But he expresses to her that I feel like I'm needed and I feel like I need to be there with her. And Winter completely understands. She's like, oh, of course, if you feel like you need to be there. And of course, I will want my sister to have somebody to support her. So I am completely, you know, in agreement with you that how you feel and that you need to be there for her. Jay goes to tell everybody else about the update and that he's leaving to be with Joy and to support her at this time. And everybody's just like, oh, of course, we completely understand. And Rashid even gives him a pound and a hug to say, hey, you know, that's that's grown man of you. You do what you feel. You go where you feel you're needed at this point. They all give him hugs before Jay leaves to be with Joy in Chicago. Tommy meets with everyone, the men and the women, and he wants to just have discussions with them and kind of see where their head is at. And it's he says that it's strange that Jay and Joy are gone and they've got to keep everyone lifted in prayer. He explains that everyone together collectively needs to be together because you have to focus on your own journey and death teaches us to never take life for granted. And I'm opening up the floor to anyone that would like to say anything. And Edwin says, well, I would like to say something. He says that after finding out about Joy's sister passing away, I realized that Joy and Jay had a very, very strong connection. And that after they left, that I think this process 
for love with the people that are here is just not meant for me. I felt like this process was basically for my own self-discovery. I'm ready to love, just not with anyone here. And Tommy says, I do believe you fell in love with somebody. And you know who that is? You fell in love with you. And I give you much props, man, for being real and being honest with yourself and saying that, hey, this connection and the reason why I was here, I was brought here for another purpose. So that takes a lot for you to say that this process and being ready to love in this situation with the people are here is just is just not connecting for you. So I commend you for that. And everyone says, you know, that's very, very good of you to realize that and to come to that realization realization for yourself. And Edwin makes his exit. Tommy encourages everybody to continue to self heal and to seek love when they can during this process and just to stay focused. Calfani wants to speak with Anthony to talk about what he's learned from Denise. And he says, well, you know, Denise came to me and said, hey, you know, we're broken up and now I'm focusing on Anthony and my love and my energy for him is just number one right now. And Anthony is just like broken up. And he's like, well, I was just, were well, y'all together, like broken up? Like, I'm just confused. So if she's falling in love with me, then you were her number one pick, then I guess I'm number two, I guess. So Anthony's just saying to production, like, wow, you were in love with me and you saying all of this. When did this happen? When did this love happen? Um, Okay. And Calfani is just like, I mean, I care for her. But at the same time, now the ball is thrown to you, man. And I just want to make you aware of these things that she's saying. It's just kind of like this weird situation. And they share a laugh of confusion like, um, okay. And Anthony's just like, well, I appreciate you sharing that information because, you know, that's just a little off to me. I thought it was just, you know, Calfani, Calfani, Calfani in Denise's eyes. Winter and Denise just shoot the breeze about how they're feeling and what's been going on lately. And they talk about how Winter says that Anthony and Jay have always been her top picks. And Denise says, you know, well, Kelfani and Anthony have always been my top picks. But she's like, girl, I broke up with Kelfani yesterday. And Winter says, you broke up with him? Winter makes a production note. She's like, um, I'm not trying to make judgments on anybody's psyche. But maybe Denise's decision to tell Kelfani that she's feeling some type of way about somebody else and she's breaking up it seems like it's based on strategy and not feelings and Denise is like you know this is just a moment for clarity for me and Winter goes to talk to Anthony because she feels that it's some information he's got to know and she also wants to make sure she's not stepping on anybody's toes and she's like I'm really feeling you and I just want to see where you are with that. And Anthony says, well, that's good to hear because you exuded everything that I'm loving. And, you know, you love to have fun. You laugh and I'll do anything to make you smile. And Winter is blushing like, oh, yeah, tee hee hee and just really feeling it. And Anthony is happy that they're on the same page. Rashid and Adriana take a minute to date and play some Jenga. And he wants to tell her that, hey, we're having fun and all this other stuff. And he pulls this game piece that says truth to dare, but he wants to know truth. He wants to ask her, hey, am I still your number one? And Adriana says, well, <laughs> ooh, and it's just kind of like this awkward, I can't make a 100% accurate response for what he's asking. And she's basically kind of conflicted on how she feels. And Rashid says, you know, well, all I know is that I've taken my best shots with you done a layup a free throw a dunk did and you know I put all of my eggs in one basket for you but if you decide to go another route the good note and the good side on me is that I took my best shot and it was all worth it and Adriana was just like oh I wasn't expecting you to say all of that I'm just you know and Adriana makes a production note that I'm definitely trying to have my cake and eat it too but I'm eventually going to make a decision. I just can't right now. And then they share a kiss because on one of the game pieces, it says that they have to kiss one another. And not they don't share just one kiss. They share several kisses. And Rashid says, you know, I felt something from those kisses. And I could just tell by the way that she received me that she's feeling something too. 
Anthony feels like he needs to set up a nice date with Denise in order to speak with her directly. He's heard information from Calfani and he's received some kind of indication that something's going on from Winter. But he says to production that he wants to hear these words come directly from her. He doesn't want any red flags based upon he said, she said. So he asked those, her those questions on how she's feeling and what's been going on. And Denise says, well, you know, you've been my number one one since day one and you can see Anthony's discomfort as she's speaking she goes on to say yeah with you it's effortless and I'm falling for you I mean falling for you and she even spells it out in the air with her finger I am F A L L I and as she's spelling it Anthony is taking sips of his wine just very very just he just feels uncomfortable and Anthony says to production um like it or not, it's just really, really strange. You say that you're falling for me. I'm just, just shocked that what she's doing and what she's saying. Tommy meets with everyone again, and he says that, hey, if there are some love triangles going on, now is the time to untangle them because, you know, the next steps is introducing your number one to your family. Winter feels that her connection with Anthony is real and that there is true potential there. And she says, well, I don't know if Denise is feelings are real though but hey that's not for me to decide Anthony feels it's important to talk with Denise because after Tommy says such an important thing when it comes to meeting family and somebody that you're really serious about he wants to tell Denise the real deal and how he's feeling about winter and now that he's seen the uncomfortable attitudes and things that Denise is saying so he wants to have a meeting with her ASAP. Anthony meets with Denise and he tells her straight up after evaluating everything my feelings and the way that things are going I really feel that I need to place all of my energies toward winter. And I also spoke with Kelfani him and I had a talk and he feels that he needs to put all of his energies towards Adriana. And then he says, well, I need to hear that from Kelfani. I need to hear that from his mouth. And Anthony's like, that's fair. I just wanted to let you know where I was coming from and the information that I know. Denise is very upset and tells Anthony, hey, well, can you tell Kelfani to come over here because I need to speak with him? He's like, yeah, I can do that. And she's really, really upset in her production clip and saying that neither one of these guys fought for her. They had these feelings and then they just switched on her and now they can't make up their minds what they want to do and then we see the clip where Kelfani is walking up to her to talk to her at the bar and Denise says well Anthony says that you had something to tell me and Kelfani is like trying to hold back a laugh like oh, uh what Anthony tells Winter hey you know I spoke with Denise and I told her straight up that all of my energies are to you i had an interest in her she was on my my top two but all of my interest is to you and i'm just focusing on you right now and winter says well well okay cheers clank 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 while winter and anthony over there singing let's toast it up they wasn't singing that but you know that's what i think they were singing at the time but anyway kel finally tells denise well i mean like you said we broke up we're done now you in love with Anthony, and I don't want to go back and forth, so let's just let it be. Denise is just like, well, okay, you know, that's fine. You know, it's all love, and they share a hug. And she's telling production, you know, that, well, those men were just not for me. I didn't settle. I know at the end of the day, I didn't settle, and I'm doing what's right for me. And as she's making her way, everybody's kind of looking at her like, oh, is she all right? Is she going to act crazy? It's okay. But gladly, Denise makes her exit, and she leaves. And that is the end of the episode. Before I even begin this review for this episode, I want to say to everyone, Happy New Year. It's 2021. I want to tell everybody, keep your fronts up. You know, keep your fronts up because we don't know what's up for this, this year. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff going on, but let's just be happy, celebrate and rejoice that we have come this far. Happy New Year. 
I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in to my family friendly channel. Me trying to be as positive as possible on this channel and making it family friendly for everyone. Thank you for rocking with me. It was a lot of successful things with this channel and it being a rookie channel. I'm still a rookie. I'm still a rookie YouTuber. I'm learning as I go along and just thank you for rocking with me so much. I love you all so much. I got a lot of DMs from you guys saying, Bunny, I like it when you do the recaps of all of the television shows, but we want to see your face at the end. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, it's okay. You do the voiceover thing, but we want to see your face as much as possible. I heard you loud and clear. I got all the DMs. I was like, okay, I'm getting a few DMs saying the same thing. So I will make sure to show my face as much as possible. I think y'all can't like that. I just thought y'all wanted the show just to be recapped and to call it a day and hush. So I'm here. I, I love you, kiss, kiss, kiss. So let me get to my review of this episode. Now with Joy losing her sister, it was very unfortunate and very sad. It was very, very difficult to watch after we've lost so many in 2020. And then to see her lose a family member, that was a lot. It was very difficult to watch because I immediately put myself in her shoes and I thought about, wow, what if I lost? a sibling and it just hit me hard and it's just to see her get such terrible news and like jay said you feel helpless and tommy said it best you know the best thing that you could do is just to be there and let that person know that you're keeping them in their prayers and that you're there if they need to talk if it's something that they need a support system that's really all that you can do and, and hug and, and give that energy and letting that person know that they can get through it and just sending condolences. So shout out to Joy. I can only imagine you being, first of all, away from home, being in a situation where you're, you're having fun, you're meeting new people, and then to get such terrible news. I could just, ugh, I could just only imagine. And kudos to Jay for feeling that he needed to go to see her and have that support I, that that was that was that was very big of him to do that on another note i do feel that he was ready to go anyway um even if that didn't happen he really wasn't connecting like that because even if you see earlier in the episode you know she's flirting with him and doing all that and she still has to insist upon kisses and hugs like hey hello you know yeah and flirting with him and he's really just not giving all of the the flirt energy back i really just don't think that he did he connect with anybody like that there now it's possible that with such a terrible situation maybe that that emotion maybe that will bring that them together in the future i don't know but i just like i said in my last review i just really don't feel like he was one of the ones that really connected with anybody anyway and he looked like he was ready to go and with joy and jay i just think that they were really bonding as friends and maybe joy was feeling something a little bit deeper winter and Anthony, I'm gonna break down what's really happening, okay? Winter explained several episodes ago that it was kind of offsetting to her that Anthony really didn't fight for her and there really wasn't this initiative that he expressed that he really wasn't, you know, kind of there when it came to being ready to love, but he's trying to make those baby steps that he's never really been in love and all of those statements. And all of a sudden he's jumping all in and she's happy that they're making this connection. I really feel that psycho psychologically, this is what's going on on both ends. Winter just wants to be loved. She's so ready. She has so much love to give. She's at that point in her life. And I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but Anthony in his eyes, now looking at all of the options kind of deplete and go, go away, he has gone into football win mode. The goal is to win. The goal is to leave this situation winning something, not leaving empty handed. For both of their emotions just to switch like that. And you really saw the hurt in Winter's eyes when Jay said that he was gonna be with Joy and leave. It was kind of like this, oh great, you know? I think it should be with her. It was kind of like this, uh -huh. I mean, you can see the discomfort but at the same time she had to be selfless in that situation. But I think that combination, those two together, is pretty toxic. I don't think there's anything genuinely there. They get along with the people that are left. Like I said in my last review, 
I don't think anybody there is meant to be with each other. They're just making do with who's left. I'm really not feeling any genuine connection with Winter and Anthony. Anthony has gone into win mode because think about it. Each little day he had was some, some type of game, some type of co competition. And with Winter, it's just kind of like, okay, well, with who's left, I got to pull a win somehow, somewhere. For you to say one thing two episodes ago, and now you're just so gung-ho, ready to love, and you're feeling Winter, especially after seeing how Denise has behaved, I really, really think that that's what's making them click. It's not a genuine flirtatious lovey dovey. Yes, they're serious serious some kiss kisses, but it doesn't really seem like I could expect to see them get married in a couple of years. It just uh it just seems like a slow car wreck just no <laughs> not feeling too good about that one. Once again, regardless about how anybody else felt about Edwin while they were there, I've said it time and time again, that he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. He's just long winded and he has a lot of discovering to do. And it was just a very bad time for him to be there. And I think he's just too man too much for the women that are there. They just saw what they needed to see in him. And then by the time they realized it, it was kind of too late and Edwin made that grown decision without anybody telling him, without being eliminated, kind of evaluating how everything went and, and, and how there was something there with joy, but it was just like a buddy, buddy kind of conversation. He's just like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be out, I'm going to peace out on this. And that was very grown of him to say, I'm evaluating everything around me and it's just not fitting. It's just not working. And I think with Joy and Jay leaving, it was kind of that wake up call and people were just like, wow, ooh, you know, now that I'm looking at my options, it's really not that great, but everybody is picking like a default, you know, sort of thing. And Edwin made that decision and it was a very, very smart decision because like I said in the last review, if he didn't in this episode eliminate himself, I def definitely think that the women were going to eliminate Edwin because there really wasn't any connection so far as seeing him him deeper they heard about his PTSD they heard about him healing and really talking about some grown man stuff and I just didn't think that he was just clicking with anybody that was left so much love to Edwin I knew it was coming either here or there and he just said how about we just peace out and I'm gonna deuce myself out and bye I was so right about Adriana. I have yet to be wrong about anybody this entire series because I'm looking at all of the red flags. I'm looking at behaviors and I'm looking at what people were doing. Rashid, don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. Don't save her. I wanna be saved. Don't you save Adriana. Don't you do it. I don't know what she's gonna do at the end. I don't know who Adriana's gonna pick. Let's be hypothetical, okay? Let's say hypothetically Adriana picks Rashid in the end. There's gonna be some reason, a very selfish reason, and because like she said, she literally took the words out of my mouth. I said, Adriana is having her cake and she's eating it too. And she got this man, Rashid, that's telling her, look, I'm all in. I want, I'm here for you. I wanna, be, you know, make sure that I'm putting you top priority when it comes to get to knowing you. And she's just like, um, and I said, girl, just like how men, you know, certain men don't wanna give up their player card, Women can be like that too. She still wanna, she got some, cause I can be a freak until the day, until the dawn. She's, it's still there, so we can bump, bump. It's still there for Adriana. She's not ready to be locked down yet. She thinks she wanna be locked down, but not yet. Adriana, you're not ready yet. And stop toying with a man like Rashid and Kelfani. You know, he got a lot of energy too. And he could, he could, yeah, yeah, like I said, just call them both at the same time and make it happen, Captain, because neither one of them are for you. You know you don't want to raise nobody else's kids. You say you want to have a kid, girl, but you want to have your own kids. Just, just to be real. Stop playing with that man. Rashid, do not let this woman toy with you like that. This man said, I'll make you top priority. She's like, all right. That's good. Then he said, look, I done did a, this, he, I did a crossover, not just any kind of crossover, but Allen Iverson crossover on Jordan crossover. 
Oh, y'all remember that? Um, I done a free throw three. He said three pointer. I even dunked it. And he's just like, at least I say I tried. Like after saying that, and she's still like, okay, I would have been, you know, how you mush somebody forehead. You know, you get your hand and you just mush their head like that. I couldn't have been a dude. I Lord knew what he was doing. I would have been like, man, <laughs> I'm telling you all this stuff. Then you're slobbing me down and kissing all up on me. Man, I would have straight just mushed her to the side. Like, man, they would have called the cops on me. Oh, y'all see what would have been my male name? Sherrod. Sherrod. Yeah, Sherrod. Man, y'all see Sherrod? <laughs> Mush that girl in the head like that. <laughs> I would have been upset, okay? Don't play with them like that, Adriana. I know you hear them voices deep in your cervix. We didn't have the moments where we just think about somebody. You just feel it in your cervix and you'd be like, uh, don't listen to that. Listen to your brain. Listen to your, is it your Erica Badu Mbada? Africa Bumbada. Do Abla Umbada? Listen to that part of your brain that's far in the future, okay? And just breathe. Stop toying with these two men. Make a decision. E either decision you make, girl, I just, you ain't gonna get neither one of them in the end. You not. <laughs> I'm done with you. Denise, Denise, um, I've said what I had to say about you since the beginning. I feel like Judge Mathis right now. Uh-huh, and then you took the $32, uh-huh. Yeah, I know what you did. Yeah, that's, see, that's a crackhead, uh-huh. I'm not calling you a crackhead, I'm just thinking about what Judge Math. And then you, uh-huh, ma'am, I, ma'am, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing here. Denise, um, like I said from the beginning, a lot of, I, I said, without even looking at episode two, uh, three, right? I said, a lot of people there seem like to be planet act want to be actors and actresses it seems like there's only a few people that were really there for love winter um alex you know there were a few sprinkles of people that rashid um uh, that were there you know but i think a lot of people were either there for business promotion acting or just just there because it was going to be on tv there's only a few that i think were really there for love and sure enough slowly and surely you know you start to hear more information that this person's trying to go into acting it i knew it i called it long time ago and denise i just i honestly feel you were one of those people there where it was a combination that you know there was attention that was needed and also there was love that you were seeking and that you were wanting and then in the process you actually fell for some people girl i need to talk to you um Anybody know Denise? Anybody follow Denise on Instagram? Please tell her. I DM me, official bunny, official bun underscore E, because I really need to talk to you because I'm concerned. I'm really not being funny. I'm really, really, really concerned because the way that you snap like that, crazy right now. Love got me look so crazy. Y'all love. I was like, did she? F-A-L-L -L Anthony like, help, help, you tell the production, help. Girl, I'm just, okay, this is what I think ha happened. She said, I honestly think that she played that game like, okay, I'm gonna tell Kelfani that I'm liking this other dude. And he gonna be like, no, 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 boo, I really care for you. Like, no, when I'm alone in my room, I you know, stay alone at the wall and in the back of my mind. I, I honestly thought she, she thought he was going to do that, but kept funny was like, he was sitting up back on the couch like, oh, okay. <laughs> he didn't care. It was like the stamp, like, move on to Adriana. Um, I'm like at a loss for words. She, like, like Winter said, she played this strategy and it backfired, unfortunately. And maybe she thought Anthony was going to scoop that situation. <sighs> it didn't work. And then you were playing games. You know, you never want to play games. Uh, and it just backfired. She cried in the car. I know she did. Because you can really tell that she's this amazing, beautiful person. It's just the certain things that she would do. 
it just really was questionable. Now I did start to think when she said we gotta break up that she was joking. Like, you know, oh, you know, we gotta break up and you know for real, for real, y'all not together and y'all not boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, maybe she meant that as a joke and then Kelfani saw that as like a red flag and her being crazy. You know, she could have been joking. You know, she could have been joking that we broke up, but when she kept saying it to other people and Anthony and in winter, I was like, she for real. She for real. That's like, you know, I tell people, you know, when Hill Harper and I, you know, we just, he's, you know, he adopted a son because we were thinking about having children. So I'm just, you know, he'll, I, I joke with friends because I just, I think Hill Harper is amazing. I always talk about, yeah, well, you know, he's, he's away and you know, we're, we haven't talked yet, you know, so I joke like that. So when she did something like that, I thought she was joking, but she was, she was serious. She was for real. Um, I try not to follow anybody on social media that have been involved with this involved with this show. Now that the show is slowly coming to a close, some people have followed me on Instagram. I followed them back and they've reached out to me, but I did not want social media to distract or sway my guesses or predictions for this show. And I'm glad that I didn't. Um, because there's a lot of things that we all have to learn about people as we're going along with this show. And Denise is the one for me that that really sparked a true concern of if she's okay, meaning self-wise, meaning relationship-wise, meaning how is she feeling now that this has been recorded and people are looking at her a certain way. So I'm just I'm just really concerned. Winter, I'm letting you know now, Anthony is just there to win. He's there to win in his mind. I really don't think that he has true sincere feelings for you. Y'all are sharing some good good kisses and all this other stuff, but I just don't think it's genuine. The women that are left there, I really don't feel are compatible with the men that are left. It's just some default stuff. I mean, one person started going home, and we went home, Jade, I was like, dang, everybody gonna go home? Ding. Anyway. Let me know what you think. I love you all. I hope <laughs> that, I, 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 just, I just don't know what to say. This episode was a lot. It was sad and then it was shocking and then it was confusing and then it was like, what's going on? And whew, it was a lot. Happy New Year. I love you all. Let me know your thoughts. I love reading your comments. Stay tuned for more shows that are coming up next. We got Yanla coming up. We got Handmaid's Tale. We got, uh, what else do we have? Hulu, uh, Wu-Tang and American Saga coming up for season two. We have so much more coming up and it's just this big gap in between of certain movies. We also have movies that have, uh, have, that have come, already been released and I need to do the review over that. Wonder Woman, whole bunch of stuff. Um, the movie with Viola Davis, just there's a lot of movies that I have my notes on that I need to make the videos for, but I honestly feel that when there's breaks in between, when there's a lot going on, you have to take breaks for your sanity. You have to have clarification and dedication and making sure that you're giving your supporters and your subscri subs subscribers the best of you. So I love you all. I'm going to make like everybody else and just leave the show. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>